Hello, so this is my roasted butternut squash soup. So I just wanna show you how far I've got so far because I've already roasted the vegetables. Now this does take a little while and you don't have to do this if you're making soup. I like to do this with this soup just because it gives it a real sort of depth of flavour that it just doesn't have otherwise. So come and have a look and see where we've got to. So this, I did it in two pans because we had quite a lot of vegetables so they all sort of shrink a bit as they get cooked obviously but um you can see how the onions have kind of caramelized and oh it just looks delicious okay this is the garlic and i've left one clove so what i do is i put the garlic in in its cases so as whole cloves i just got a little fingers but as whole cloves um, with the with the cases still on, okay. So I just break them off and put them in like that to roast with everything else. So when they come out, and these have been in here for um, I did them for an hour and a half. They were in there for um, at about 180, and I cook them in coconut oil. Although I did think about cooking them in beef dripping, either would have been just as nice, but I just felt like coconut oil today because you'll obviously get quite different flavours and added salt. So um, that's what it comes out like. So it's all squishy and lovely and oh, there we go. So, let's grab that. So it's all really soft. You can see that the butternut squash has gone, you know, you could just push it with the spoon. It's really soft and delicious. You can, at this point, actually take the butternut squash out of its skin um, but actually what I found is the butternut squash skins on these squashes weren't particularly, um, you can see here that they're not particularly hard. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put the whole lot in and um, because there's some extra fibre in that skin. Um, and so it's all going in. Okay. And then in this tub, I've got the sweet potato and what I did, which actually isn't in the video, which was on Instagram is I added some pepper. And I added some chilies, which I found um, on a sort of farm gate with some eggs the other day. Uh, so I bought those chilies. It's a, literally a couple of carrots. And this, is, so this is, you can really just put whatever you want in this soup. It doesn't have to be just butternut squash. You can freestyle it. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use about two pints of stock. Now, if you have happened to have maybe some, um, you've had a roast chicken and you want to really boil up the bones and make some delicious chicken stock, then that would be a lovely thing to add. Um, or you can just use a ready made stock. Check the ingredients because, you know, stocks tend to have quite a lot of sort of extra stuff in often that you don't really need. And always check that it hasn't got monosodium glutamate in because monosodium glutamate, um, we think, is responsible for actually switching off or has an effect on your satiety hormones um, and um, seems like it can have an influence on sort of, sort of affecting your brain's ability to go okay I'm fed now I can stop eating my appetite can calm down so I would I would uh, say don't eat things with monosodium glutamate that in that are on the label um, it's just best not to. So I use this, this is my stock of choice. It's, it's up to you, but um, I really like this one. I've been using this for a long time now. So I'm gonna do a good heaped teaspoon in here. I've just boiled the kettle. So I'm just gonna add that in there. And I think what I'm gonna do, okay, so you, what you could do is you could put all of this, if you've just got a hand blender, you can make this soup with a hand blender. You don't need a great big blender like this. I just happen to have a Vitamix. Um, and so doing it in here will make it really velvety smooth. Um, but it will be just as yummy if you just do it in a hand blender. And I would say put it all in a big saucepan now, add the stock, mix it all up together and do it like that. That's absolutely fine, it'll still be delicious. So I'm gonna do this a half at a time. So what I'm gonna do, because what I'll do is mix it all together afterwards, I think. So let's start adding this in here. Oh, the yummy, you can see it's gone all lovely and soft. Um, the other great thing about 
this soup with all of these lovely root vegetables is it's got a natural sweetness all of its own so it's quite comforting um it's like a whole bit of butternut squash and there's two whole butternut squashes they weren't massive um it's it's quite comforting it's also a really great source of amongst other things beta carotene okay so beta carotene is interesting because it's the precursor to vitamin a otherwise known as retinol um which is which is uh, really important for immune function, for skin health, for respiratory, um, the health of your, all of your respiratory tissues. But beta carotene isn't vitamin A yet. What happens is your body should be able to convert that beta carotene into active vitamin A, retinol. But here's a really interesting thing. Some of us have uh, genetic changes which we call SNPs or polymorphisms which mean that we don't have the same ability to be able to convert beta carotene to active vitamin A. The only way you'd know that is if you had some genetic testing done um, but it's quite common and it can reduce your ability to convert beta carotene to active vitamin A by up to 70%. So it can have a huge impact on how you convert that beta carotene. And so it's actually a really good, you know, knowing things like that is a really good reason why you should consider very carefully um, the ramifications in terms of the nutrients which will be available to your body if you're thinking about becoming a vegan or a vegetarian. So let's get this first one smushed up and see how it all looks so we're going to put all that oh all that lovely stock in okay and give it a whiz up noisy coming up can you eat that it's cute show you this it's gone really thick can you see this so that's quite thick so what I'd recommend you do is you then you know use the amount of stock that you want to get it to the consistency that works for you and I'd also check the seasoning so I put salt in I use my pink Himalayan salt and I put salt in when I was roasting it but I will recheck it the seasoning um, now that it's all smushed up so um, i'm going to continue on like that until i end up with a really beautiful um velvety smooth because i like it velvety smooth um roasted butternut squash soup and i will post a photo of the finished um the finished soup alongside this video <laughs> 